Mr. Dvorak! Ah, and Kuching's here too! Thanks for helping set all of this up. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Uh, are, are you serious? Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. <laughs> Normally, adepti don't age at all. But Streetward Rambler, or Madame Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Madame Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Yep, Kuching summed it up perfectly. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. <laughs> I think... Mm, yes, I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. Ah, speaking of, Madame Ping wishes you all the best with the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> Just treat it like any other performance. Okay, all right. Nope, another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. Mr. Dvorak? Oh, he's already gone. Paimon wasn't even finished telling him everything. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Aww. She still remembered that question. Please, share your insights with me. Uh, well, we found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Oh. Um, it can make people happy and moved, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. And music is like a kind of memory written in people's hearts. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. <laughs> It sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry, I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Wait, does that mean you're gonna carry on working? Mm-hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. That should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. My mom feels like she's forgetting something. Ugh. What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. You forgot about Jolie's bamboo shoots. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! <laughs> The amazing bamboo shoots of Zhongli. Zhongli said he wasn't in a hurry, so if we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway, even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked him by himself. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, let's go check with him at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mm-hmm. Da-da, 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 da-da. <laughs> Looks like they're practicing. Oh. All right. Let's take a break here. <laughs> oh wow! Look who it is. Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? So you're just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor in broad daylight? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all this open space, a clear
clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members <laughs> enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Invisible audience members? <laughs> Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shinyan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. <laughs> Come on, knock it off. What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shinyan's courts and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. For sure! The whole dance floor will be yelling, Encore! Encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. <laughs> um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Huh. Guess we'll just have to trust Shinyan on this one. Have you seen Zhongli, Director Who? Oh, Zhongli. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. Oh. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Shinyan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth, though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> Well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here, especially if you're in the mood to try something new. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. <laughs> Actually, Xinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Oh, sure thing. I'm all ears. Traveler in Paimon, I believe Zhongli was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhongli, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. Okay, everyone, I think that's a long enough break. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Ugh, Ms. Yoon is such a strict mentor. These breaks aren't even long enough to have a sip of tea. <laughs> well, you were desperate to get involved, and this is what it takes. If I gave you half the chance, you'd be sipping tea till nightfall. <laughs> hey, how about I treat us all to some late-night snacks once we're done? Hotel, what you craving? Hmm, how about some stir-fried filet with a side of crab roe tofu? <laughs> Where are we gonna find crab roe tofu so late at night? We could always just go pester masterful chef Zhongling. <laughs> mm, now I'm hungry. All right, let's knock this out and then go grab some food. Hyman sees them! It's Illuminated Deer and Illuminated Bird number two! <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Long time no see. Hmm. A familiar face. Have you come from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great! But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself! In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhongli! Here you are! We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted! Impeccable timing. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow-cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait, that mechanism... is that...? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. <laughs> Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. 
She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. <laughs> I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yes. Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Of course. Oh, Zhang Li, who Tao told us to tell you something. She said it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. When she says performance, she must mean the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh, she didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. Aww. As for the banquet, hmm, since the Director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Yay. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Mm. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of this machine is commendable indeed. <laughs> Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. I intend to reminisce with my old friends for a while longer. You ought to get back to Liyue Harbor. There is a performance you do not want to miss. Had one known that Cloud Retainer was in possession of such eminently useful devices, one would have sought to borrow one from her long ago. <laughs> and yet, since you share my lack of enthusiasm for mechanisms and fine dining, it would have become a mere decorative ornament in your abode. Not so. Had one had such a device to make up for one's lack of culinary prowess, Shenha would not have had to rely on flowers and herbs alone for sustenance while under one's care. Aww. Hmm. In that case, shall we rendezvous with Cloud Retainer one day soon and request to borrow one more Supreme Cuisine machine? A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. <laughs> yes. mm. I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan, this is Hutao, <laughs> and this is a little something called... <laughs> the Bleeding <laughs> Lilies! Uh. <laughs> I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? I can't miss out on that.
May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern, the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liu Wei Harbor to display its magnificence for all.